This nuclear-powered luxury flying hotel could stay airborne for years at a time, carrying 5,000 guests. I mean, what could go wrong, really? <laughs> That's the latest in a report at Study Finds. Forget brief trips to space. This nuclear-powered flying hotel promises to keep your head permanently in the clouds. It's basically a high-flying sky cruise ship with a gigantic airplane skin. Now, just letting you know, we'll run this entire video again at the end here, too. Now, <laughs> I love this line. With a small nuclear reaction powering the engines, the Sky Cruise would be able to stay in flight for several years at a time. <laughs> oh, well, it's just a small nuclear reaction. That's way better. Flying around over my head with who knows what steering the wheel. <laughs> I really have nothing against nuclear power, but I don't want a nuclear power plant falling on my head any more than I want a coal plant falling on my head. Just saying. Apparently, if you want to check out a nearby destination, you'll simply hop on a flight back to Earth and, oh, that's nice. That's nice. Berlin-based science enthusiast and video producer Hashim al Ghali created a realistic vision of the Sky Cruise, which was originally conceived by concept artist Tony Holmston. Ah, so <laughs> not engineers. Okay. Look, it's actually cool. Many things we have today started with a dream, and it's fun to poke fun at this concept, but dreaming and building is one of the best things humans do. But I'm still going to poke fun. <laughs> I just can't help myself. Hashim said, quote, I believe the current flying experience has become tiresome and outdated, and it's time for a new innovation that can make our flight experience more comfortable. Hence, I imagine a world where flying from one place to another turned into a joyous experience rather than fighting for leg space. And amen to that. <laughs> I'm with him. I mean, I have to pay for extra leg room I, just because I... Six feet whatever. <laughs> That's not cool, airlines. Like a traditional sea-based cruise ship, guests can enjoy luxuries, including a 360-degree panoramic platform, an entertainment deck, shopping malls, gyms, swimming pools, restaurants, and bars, and theaters, and cinemas. You know, when God decides to shake this giant tin can with 5,000 people on it, can you imagine the mess? Hope there's no pianos on board. Hashim says the Sky Cruise itself won't land, but you'll still get to land where you want thanks to a docking port that allows airplanes to attach themselves and exchange passengers with the Sky Cruise. <laughs> Some online commenters are pessimistic about... <laughs> How dare they? Some online comment... Yes, they're pessimistic about whether such an idea could work. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> With one posting, if physics and aerodynamics didn't exist, then this vessel might actually be able to take off. <laughs> hey, I saw the movie. I remember the Avengers, you know, when the big floating aircraft carrier falls out of the sky. <laughs> I still get nervous on an airplane. You think I'm going to sleep on a flying behemoth with a crew that just spent the night on the Lido deck downing free daiquiris? Well, you know, because they work for the place. <laughs> Hashim is realistic about the feasibility of the idea and believes it could become a reality before 2040. <laughs> Hashim points out what I'm driving at, saying, quote, George Bernard Shaw said both optimists and pessimists contribute to society. The optimist invents the airplane and the pessimist invents the parachute. See, I'm not just a naysayer. <laughs> if it wasn't for people like me, you wouldn't have parachutes when this thing is hurtling towards the earth at terminal velocity. <laughs> Hashim adds, Einstein said, if at first the idea is not absurd, then there's no hope for it. Well, I would go for 2030s or 2040s at the latest for possibility of sky cruise. All we need is sufficient energy for the takeoff. That's why nuclear energy was part of the design, unquote. <laughs> well, that's all? <laughs> okay. And the, what, billion engines on this thing? Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Hashim said, quoting again now, The UK is one of the top countries working on smaller nuclear reactors. These reactors are likely to become fully operational by 2029. A few tweaks to the design, and we've got a massive flying hotel that could roam our skies someday. <laughs> you can check out more info on this death trap. I mean, 
you can check out more info on this and other studies by clicking in the link in the description below and heading over to studyfinds.com. I love this. <laughs> Introducing Sky Cruise, a nuclear powered hotel suspended above the clouds. This futuristic Sky Hotel gives you the ultimate travel experience. It's big enough to accommodate over 5,000 guests. Its sleek design combines the features of a commercial plane while offering the epitome of luxury. Sky Cruise features a big hall that offers a 360 degree view of your surroundings. Here, you get to enjoy the most breathtaking views of nature from above. An elevator connects the panoramic hall to the main entertainment deck. It allows you to easily shuttle between the two locations. The main entertainment deck is perfect for recreational activities. It features shopping malls, sports centers, swimming pools, restaurants, bars, playgrounds for children, theaters, and cinemas. There's also a separate section for organizing events and business meetings. And if you want to declare your love above the clouds, Sky Cruise's wedding halls give you and your partner, along with your guests, a unique, memorable experience. The floors of the main entertainment deck are connected via two external elevators that come with a great view. Each side of the Sky Cruise features three balconies or viewing domes that are perfect for a relaxing time. Here, guests can enjoy a wide range of activities, including stargazing and watching Aurora Borealis up close. You don't have to worry about Sky Cruise's carbon footprint. Its 20 electric engines are powered solely by clean nuclear energy. A small nuclear reactor uses highly controlled fusion reaction to provide the Sky Hotel with unlimited energy. Thanks to nuclear energy, the hotel never runs out of fuel and can remain suspended in the air for several years without ever touching the ground. With Sky Cruise, you do not need to worry about air turbulence. Its navigation systems feature a state-of-the-art command deck that uses artificial intelligence to predict air turbulence minutes before they happen. If any potential air turbulence is detected, the system automatically prevents any vibrations from happening. It creates anti-vibrations that work like noise-canceling technology allowing the Sky Cruise to glide over the vibrations with ease. Everything is engineered to perfection for your own comfort and safety. Say goodbye to jet lags, motion sickness, or the fear of flying. Sky Cruise has got you covered in case of any medical emergencies. The hotel features a facility equipped with the latest medical technology aimed to keep you safe, healthy, and fit so you can enjoy your journey without any disruptions. Despite having several large landing wheels, Sky Cruise rarely lands on the surface. Supplies and guests are delivered to the hotel using electric commercial airliners and private jets, which take off from different airports around the world. All maintenance and repairs are also done above the clouds. The concept was originally designed by Tony Holmston and reimagined and animated by Hashem Al-Ghaili.